Well, buying a home is one of the most expensive and stressful life events, and it's even more difficult in this housing market. So you want to have a real estate agent you feel comfortable with, and tonight Fox 9's Rose Schmidt introduces us to a St. Paul realtor who's made it her mission to put inclusion in the process from start to finish. When you know what it means to feel unwelcome. The increasingly awful feeling of being a frog in a boiling pot when it came to being a queer person in Texas. The welcome mat means so much more. We realized we don't have to stay in Nebraska. So here we are. <laughs> These two couples, Scott Blake and Sarah Johnson, and Antone and Mike Prosser are from different regions. I have never been to Minnesota until I moved here. <laughs> but they all saw the writing on the wall in their home states and wanted to find a safe space. Hey, I'm here to advocate for you. I'm here to hold a safe space for you. They found it in their realtor, Mariah Hamm, and her network of lenders, title companies, and more. Treat them right, use their correct pronouns, like deal with nuanced situations, like with dead names on paperwork and stuff like that, where they feel comfortable and supported and not just like, oh, I have to diminish myself in this experience instead of being celebrated in this experience. Four years ago, your neighborhood queer realtor got her license with that goal in mind. She works for a queer owned brokerage based in St. Paul. This Wisconsin native is passionate about old homes, thrifting, and most importantly, making her clients feel seen and validated. Being a visit, like a masculine presenting woman, that was a lot for me to want to carve out a space that I would feel comfortable in. Mariah is seeing more LGBTQ plus friendly realtors, but at a time when more laws are targeting their community's rights, she's also hearing increased desperation from prospective clients who can't find a safe space. It's hard getting like multiple emails from just random people that are like, like, hey, we have to leave. Like, we're not safe here. I worried that our marriage would be at risk, uh, that our health care would be at risk. You know, owning a home could be at risk. The Prossers felt abandoned by Texas, where Antone had spent his whole life and had a hard time accessing gender-affirming care. I had to call two dozen different doctors, and every one of them said, no, we won't give you that service. They moved to Minnesota less than a year ago, but already they say their daily lives are astonishingly safer. I used to leave the house always prepared to have some confrontation wherever I went in public, especially if I had to use the bathroom. And I've never had anything like that here. We went to the Pride Festival on, was it Rice Park? Yeah. And it's the first one we've ever been to where there were no counter protesters at all. And this couple just closed on a Minnesota home in the last month. They were activists in Omaha, Nebraska, but watched the state and city pass laws that didn't align with their views. It feels like Nebraska is taking away everyone's rights and Minnesota is interested in letting people have bodily autonomy. And so that was a big factor. This is the first time is it for both of us that we intentionally chose a place to live. Yeah. And they did so through the care and compassion of their realtor, who's been there with everything from restaurant recommendations to advice on navigating a Minnesota winter. Being a part of the community, I think, is helpful because I've experienced things in my life that make me more aware, right, to the nuances that other people might experience. Reminding these couples what it means to feel welcome. For Fox 9's Voices for Change, I'm Rose Schmidt. Well, on Wednesday,